The other day, old Heartland Joe was, what, getting cherry pie, I think? I don't know. But he was doing some kind of photo shoot for the people, and uh, he was asked a question. Not put on the spot, because obviously he had cue cards, and everybody who's within arm length of him has had their questions pre-approved, but he was asked a question maybe out of order, and it completely ruined the man. These episodes that he has are getting harder and harder to cover because like I said it feels like elder abuse but at the same time it's important to be pointing this out and this one has a different lesson in it because when I heard about what was happening I googled it and I found a New York Post article that when I read the New York Post article it sounded like they had known what was up but when I watched the video that they had included <laughs> it didn't have the worst parts in it and you, so you have the Post, who has taken this kind of antithetical, the real news position ever since they were able to report on the Hunter Biden laptop and none of the other mainstream media did prior to the 2020 election, and they got kicked off of Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. So now, like, a lot of conservatives see that New York Post has, like, bona fides, right? So let's see what video they presented to you guys, and then we're going to go through the one that I went through. The idea... First of all, we're not sure who it is for certain, number one. And what I did, I directed the full resources of the, of the government to assist in a response if we determine. What else you need? Oh, nothing. You're all set. Okay. And um, uh, the fact is that uh, I directed the intelligence community to give me a, a deep dive on what's happened, and I'll know better uh, tomorrow. And if it is, uh, either with the knowledge of and or a consequence of Russia, then I told Putin we will respond. And, uh, you didn't but, tell him already, sir? No, no, I haven't called oh. because we're not, we're not certain. The initial thinking was it was not the Russian government, um, but we're not sure yet. So. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Come on, guys. Do you think Harry Richardson is a fan or temporary? And then in come the handlers, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the press. Those are the press. We're all going to the right here. What is it about Michigan coming on the eve of Independence Day? What brought you here? Cherry pie. Do you think her fan is fair? Do you think her fan is fair for marijuana? Look, it's the, the rules are the rules. And everybody knows that the rules were going in. Whether they should remain that, that should remain the rules, a different issue. But the rules are the rules, and I was really proud of her, the way she responded. So the Post would make sure to include that at the end as well. So the entire article is about how he fumbled that question. And yet they start their recording after Biden pulls out his notes. Now, if your entire article is about how the president is not capable of answering these questions on the fly and that how he fumbled when he was being asked this question, wouldn't you want to show the video of him stumbling predominantly? Because they cut off the first minute or so. Now, unfortunately, the following video, which is the minute leading up to where the New York Post starts their video, is very poor resolution. In every circumstance where I've found this video on the internet, this is the only resolution that is it's available in, so I apologize for that. And a couple of points in this video, it kind of skips, but I want you to take note that that is only a visual thing. If you listen, the audio is playing straight through, so there's going to be some awkward pauses in between Biden's answers, and I just want you to know that's not from the freezing you see in the visuals because the audio is it's straight continuous right through. All right, so let's listen to when he was first asked the question and go from there. Mr. President, let me know if I can ask you a question. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> right now, sir? Yeah. Uh, with the most recent hack by the Russians, would you say that this, this means that... We're not that sure it's the Russians. Okay, with I, spot, I, got okay. A, I got a brief on the, as I was on the plane. That's why I was late getting off the plane. I got a brief and... Uh, Right. Would you like your receipt? Do you know who it might be, sir? Uh, I'll be in better shape to talk to you about it. I'll tell you what they sent me, okay? Uh, that, uh, the idea, first of all, we're not sure. 
And there is where the New York Post article starts, the video that came with the article. This is a significant omission by the Post. If you look at, if you, and you really go through this one minute of video, it exhibits some pretty straightforward signs of mental decline. Biden was having a problem here juggling checking out and answering a question. That's the reality about what was happening here. And what further exacerbated the circumstance was when she asked a follow-up question, the lady checking him out also asked if he wanted his receipt. These small things are what co caused him to completely lose track and have to literally pull out his notes to talk about something that he says himself he was briefed on right before he got out of the plane. He got out of the plane and came in. Let's watch it again. Sure. <laughs> So he has to think about it there because she kind of just jumps out there, you can tell. And he's like, oh God, should I let her answer, ask me a question or not? But he's kind of pinned here. And so he says yes, and he kind of laughs and everybody giggles. <laughs> <laughs> right now, sir? Yeah. Uh, right now? Is it okay? Yeah, go. So the most recent hack by the Russians, would you say that this, this means We're that... We're not sure it's the Russians. Okay. With I, most... got okay. A, I got a brief on the, as I was on the plane. That's why... So he got a brief while he's on the plane. I was late getting off the plane. I got a brief and, uh... All right. All of that pause just happened. He was in the middle of talking to that lady, and we don't have the video because it cuts out, but he just starts looking down because he can only do this. He can't do this and that. And he just stopped talking to that individual. Would you like your receipt? Do you know who it might be, sir? Do you know who it might be, sir? And would you like the receipt? Uh, I'll be in better shape to talk to you about it. I'll tell you what they sent me, okay? Uh, that, uh, the idea, first of all, we're not sure who it is. And that's where they start their recording from with the post. Now, the recording that the Post posts is, is, you know, it's not great. But as far as showing the actual cognitive decline of the man, it makes no sense that they cut out the beginning part of that. Really confusing. Anyways, guys, like, share, sub to the channel. Talk to you next time. Peace.